in all the time you've been playing games, have you ever played a demo that has left you very cold or disappointed and you've said, yep, nope, not for me. But then somehow you've crossed paths with the full game and the full game was really great. I download last week the Contra demo for the new Contra from Konami. I saw the trailers and, and it looked really cool and the monster design and robot design and it was just very creative. And then I saw it was from Way Forward, one of my favorite developers of all time. I played the demo last week and I played it for about 45 minutes. Uh, couldn't delete it fast enough, thought it was absolutely terrible. Put up a video about it, and I was just like, yeah, this is disappointing, no thank you. I did talk to a couple of people who played it and did like the demo. A buddy of mine reaches out and says, hey, I'm working with Konami, giving codes out, would you like one? And so, I don't know, maybe it's better, who knows? So I took the code, I installed it, playing it on PC, it's the full game. It's Contra Operation uh, Galuga, come on now. Uh, but that's the name of it, whatever. Uh, I can't stop playing it. It is really, really, really good. And I'm going, what in the hell is going on? Just to give you a sense of what I thought about the demo. Here's some footage of me playing the PS5 version a few days ago. Like it's not a very intro friendly level. God damn. There's something about it that's, that's, I'm not gelling vibing with. Not that it's bad or anything. It. It's not predictable. It feels, more chaotic than I would expect and hard to kind of really track shit. And we'll be sending frequent. So it's really good now. What the hell happened? What caused this change? There's two main culprits here. And one of them is a kind of a boneheaded decision by Konami as it relates to what they put in the demo. The second one is odder, more odd, weird, whatever, odder. <laughs> Cute. Let's take the easy one first. I felt this game was too hard. And I was playing it on easy mode. After a couple of rounds, I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm going to the easy mode. So I'm playing it on easy mode and I still can barely advance. And I'm dying all the time and it doesn't feel good. And I'm, I don't feel like it's my fault half the time. And I'm just, just ugh, no. Well, here's what you see in the demo when you load it up. You've got this, I, it's like a perks or something and it's it doesn't really explain what it is um but you hit a button and you can get these perks applied to your character okay great you know the perks they offered in the demo didn't do that much to improve the difficulty or my perception of the difficulty so i was just like whatever it didn't come into play for me but in the actual final version it turns out there is a perk store and it's not like real money it's based on how you play you can replay stages to grind up your your perk uh rewards your perk currency whatever it's called suddenly when i realized that this game has the option to play it almost like an rpg i can grind through stage one and get really good at it and at the same time earn credits that will let me go, oh, I wanna have an extra hit point, or I wanna have an additional life, or I wanna have uh, the ability to dodge through projectiles. Oh shit, I didn't know any of this was there. If the demo had that stuff in there, the perk shop, even if you couldn't use it, but you knew it was coming, I would have known in my head, it's like, oh, it makes sense that maybe the first level or two is really, really hard because they want you to play it that way. Okay, that would have been a very different experience. I would have just started grinding and being okay dying because I knew I was working my way up with every death towards uh, an ability to advance. It's weird they didn't make that clear. Or if they did, I sure as fuck missed it, but that's solvable. That's gonna go away the instant the final game is out. People will see the perk store and they'll immediately realize what they need to do to deal with the game's difficulty curve. But here's the one that's more problematic. I played the demo on my PS5. It just didn't feel responsive. It wasn't a fun, fluid experience. Just control the character. But the code I got was for Steam. Steam, it's night and day. And I don't know if it's frame rate. It probably is a frame rate thing, but it's weird to think the PS5 can't run a goddamn Contra game at 60 frames. Look at this footage. This is me on the PC just doing basic things. I'm standing in place, rotating, shooting, and then jumping. This is the PC version. Okay, now this is it on PS5. Look, I don't know if half the shit I talk about is real. Fuck it, dude. I just want to eat meat and pound things and drive and shit, but I know this, Jamie, I know this. Jaffe, he's alpha as fuck, 
and you need to sub to the channel love this video and get a membership if you want to get chicks and stuff okay now this is it on ps5 So you look at these and you go, well, they pretty much look the same, Jaffe, and I get it. They do. They look like they're running at the same frame rate. It's hard to tell unless you play it, but when you play it, here's where you can really tell. There's a delay in the jump. Okay, so this is me doing it now in real time. I've got both screens up at the same time. I'm going to say press when I press. I'm pressing them both at the same time. Here we go. And press, press, see that? Press, press. That's crazy, man. Press. And maybe this is improved in the actual shipped PS5 version, but if you're going to release a demo with this, which they did, that's going to affect the way people feel about it. Certainly the way I felt about it. It's more responsive on PC, whether that's because the frame rate, whether that's because it's just the, the port to the PlayStation 5 was done poorly, I don't fucking know. It's probably frame rate, because also on the PC, the projectiles pop out of the environment more. It still has some problems with that issue, but more often than not, if I get hit, it was I, I, now that I'm playing it on PC, it's like, oh yeah, because there was a bullet coming my way. When you're running it, and frame rate would very much affect this, if you're running a, a projectile moving fast across the screen, but you're running at a lower frame rate, you know, it's gonna have more moments where it's invisible, like if it's blinking on and off as it's moving across the screen. It's not gonna, you know, be on screen enough for your brain to sort of separate it from the background. I'd be stunned if this isn't a frame rate issue. I don't know if it's gonna be like they fix it for PS5 and this was just the demo and it was, you know, we optimized it over the three weeks in between. I have no clue. but I. I can tell you playing it on PS5 is a no-go for me. It is absolutely unacceptable uh, as a demo. If they don't fix it, I would go, no fucking way am I playing that game. But playing it on the PC is smooth. It is a oh, total feels like a quality way forward game again. You feel responsible for a lot of the, the hits you take. Uh, that mixed with the perk system, which also makes the game offer you other ways to advance other than just being a great, you know, shooter bullet hell player, which I am not. Those two things coming together has really changed my mind on Contra Operate. I have to keep looking over at the title because I, 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 my mind won't allow me to remember it. It's so stupid. Contra Operation Galuga. If they call it Galaga, it's like a th it doesn't matter. The point is it's Galuga and it's stupid. I was worried, man. I thought, I, I mean, I, I don't mind getting older and I understand that my reflexes are, are not what they used to be and they didn't used to be that good to begin with. But I was bummed I wouldn't get to experience this because I love Way Forward and I love the trailers I had seen. But now that I got a copy of Fresh Hot Pipe and Copy on uh, PC, I am uh, I'm pretty excited to dive back in.